Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, for those of you who's been with me for quite some time, you will know that this is quite an important subject to me. And hopefully you guys listen to this whole video and I'll explain a lot of things where it is that I'm coming from. Where Anthony Joshua has said that if you're British, I don't understand why you don't support me. In other words, if you are British, you should be supporting me. Now, Joshua isn't saying this, you should support me and only me. No, he's not saying that. He, he's saying that you should be supporting me. You should be supporting Damian White. You should be supporting Tyson Fury and up and down the divisions. You should be supporting Matrim. You should be supporting Frank Warren. You should be doing all these guys. Because before Joshua came along, let's be honest, British boxing was pretty dormant. It really was. It was a bit of a dark age. Um, but ultimately, Joshua came along and resurrected boxing. Like him or not. Okay, this isn't about whether or not you like him as a person. This isn't about whether or not you like Dylan White or Tyson Fury as people. It's not about that. They're representing your country. When you watch the Olympics, do you support Great Britain if you're British? When you're watching the football, if you're English, do you support England? Um, if you're Scottish, do you support Scotland? Wales? Northern Ireland? Whatever. I'm sure you do. So why can't you do that with all the Brits? Ultimately, if um, Joshua, Dini White, Tyson Fury or whoever end up fighting each other, of course, you know, pick a side. Pick a side on the night. Pick a side in the build-up. Throw the other one under the bus if necessary. But ultimately, if they're not in fight competition, then why don't you do, just support all of them? That's what I've been doing ever since day one. Now, I'm not saying that what you should or shouldn't be doing. I'm just saying that from my perspective, I support all these guys. Every single one of them. That doesn't mean I don't like non-Brits. Not at all. There's plenty of fighters out there that I really, really support. I think that, that some of these guys are absolutely amazing. But ultimately, you put that guy in the ring with a Brit, I'm going to want the Brit to win. Much like many non-Brits will be supporting British fighters. But ultimately, if a Brit is going to be fighting a guy from your country, you're probably going to be supporting your guy, aren't you? For that one night only. That's how I see it. I said Joshua isn't saying support me only. No, he's not saying that. Because a lot of this come about like with uh, Dillian White. Dillian White, um, he embraced Anthony Joshua and wished him good luck and gave him some words of encouragement and that. Even though these guys are sworn enemies. And Joshua was saying, if my enemy can do that, those of you who don't know me personally, why are you hating on me? I don't understand it. As I said before, you don't have to like them as individuals, but still support them. Now, I've been on quite a few like a live streams lately um, with the... Um, uh, these guys being in Saudi Arabia, the press conferences and all that kind of thing. And I've been saying to people in the chat, if you're British, you should, you should be supporting Joshua, not hating on him. You may well be Team Fury. You, okay, that's fine. But why can't you just still support Joshua? And I know many people do, but there's a lot of people out there who will support one and hate the others. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And... Some of these people are saying, well, how can I support Anthony Joshua? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll support a former drug dealer. This is what people are saying in the, in the live chats. Well, he's not a former drug dealer. He dealt a little bit of weed once when he's what, 17 or 18 years old. Okay, so first of all, it's weed, but okay, fine. But ultimately, then what happens? I've seen it where a couple of minutes later in the chat, these same people who are saying, how can I support Anthony Joshua? In other words, getting on like their high horse about it because he sold weed once and then start going on about how the Saudi Arabians and the Arabs love pork and things like that. You see, now that's being racist. So you're getting on your high horse about Joshua and then start saying some pretty racist crap in the uh, live stream. You've been brought up wrong is what you've been doing. Your mum and dad have been brought, bringing you up wrong. You really have. So for me, you should be supporting all these guys. With like Dillian White. Okay, people know that I'm very biased when it comes to Dillian White. And the reason being is because when I very first started this channel, it was Dillian White who came to me and we've been having quite a few interviews and we've spoken um, just on the phone with obviously not being recorded or not on a live stream and things like that. So yes, I am biased with Dillian White. I've never interviewed Anthony Joshua. I've never interviewed Tyson Fury. But does that mean that I should always big up Dillian White and then chastise Joshua and chastise Tyson Fury? No, of course not. Don't get me wrong. I've tried to interview Anthony Joshua and I've tried to interview Tyson Fury. And members of their teams 
have told me to pretty much go jog on. Well, I say jog on. Um, member of um, Anthony Joshua's team, and, and no, it's not uh, Matchroom's side, it's within the management, said, well, I'm not DAZN or Sky Sports. In other words, told me to bo uh, bugger off. But does that mean that I should hate on Anthony Joshua? Listen, I'm sure if Anthony Joshua knew about that, he'd probably try, try to uh, sort that out. And same way with uh, Tyson Fury, a member of one of his management team said to me, yes, you can interview Tyson Fury, but it's going to cost you a lot of money, which is ridiculous. Needless to say, I, I told him to go jog on. Again, if Tyson Fury knew about that, he'd probably try and sort that out. But that doesn't mean I'm going to hate on Joshua and hate on Tyson Fury because of that. No, not at all. They're British guys. Not at all. It's never going to happen. When Tyson Fury fights Wilder, I'm supporting Tyson Fury. When Dylan White supports... Um, fights whoever. I'm supporting Dillian White. Same with Joshua. So with Joshua, when he's going to be fighting Andy Ruiz Jr., of course, I'm going to be supporting Anthony Joshua. Of course I am. People say that I'm biased matchroom. I'm not biased matchroom, just that I know more about matchroom because they're on Sky Sports. Why? Because I have Sky Sports. I don't have BT Sport. That's why I don't talk too much about some of the Frank Warren shows because I don't get to see them. But I do get to see the Sky Sports ones. So again, people say that I'm on a matchroom payroll. If I was, don't you think that Joshua would have been on the channel by now? Think about it. It ain't, it ain't complicated, is it? But people, if you're British and you're chastising everything to do with matchroom, you're chastising everything to do with Joshua and, and Dillian White and everything, saying how Dillian White is a drug cheat and where's the B sample, this, that and the other, then you're just a plain idiot. You are. You're just a plain idiot. Because you don't want to move with the times. You want to stick in the dark ages. With boxing, you want boxing under the radar. You want it uh, to be underground almost. What? You don't have to like Eddie Hearn as a person. Listen, Eddie Hearn's a bit of an arrogant knob. To be honest with you, he is. Face to face, he's like really, really nice. He's very, very pleasant. He'll come up, he'll shake your hand and he'll have a chat with you and this, that and the other, ask you how you're doing, blah, 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 blah. But when he's not in front of you, he don't care. He will make zero effort with you whatsoever. Zero effort effort but does that mean that we shouldn't be supporting Eddie Hearn Eddie Hearn's putting British boxing on the map is he not without I well, know if Joshua hadn't have come along would Eddie Hearn be successful and got his own deal probably not to be fair probably not but he'd still be successful just not as successful Dillian White is Anthony Joshua's enemy but Dillian White can put um, aside all those Ill feelings that he has towards Joshua and wish him well because he's a Brit. And this is Dillian White, a guy who's born in Jamaica, but he's supporting the Brits. Tyson Fury is saying how he's proud of Anthony Joshua. When these guys fight other people, these guys support each other. So why can't you as fans? I don't understand why you can't do that. Why is it that if you're British, you're hating on Anthony Joshua? What's wrong with you? And and there's too many people out there um, who's saying, I'm a hardcore boxing fan and blah, blah, blah. And then they go on a mad tangent how they hate Anthony Joshua and they hate Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and Sky Sports and this, that and the other. So if you hate these guys, that makes you hardcore. No, that makes you an idiot. That's all that does. That makes you an idiot. How can you hate on what it is that they're doing? You may not agree with some of the things that they do. You may not agree with some of the things that they say. Nobody's saying you have to, but if they're British, you should want the Brit to win. You should want Joshua to win this weekend. You should want Diddy White to beat Marius Wack this weekend. You should want Tarson Fury to beat Wilder in the next fight. That's what you should want. And when these guys fight each other, choose a side, pick a side. It's not complicated. Get behind your guy. Get behind Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, listen, he has a lot of casual fans for sure. For sure he does, okay? And depends on your definition of casual, but mine is, it's a case of they'll support Joshua and only Joshua. And when Joshua lost, a lot of them jump ship. Again, if you did, you're pathetic. And if Joshua wins, they'll be straight back on again. Glory hunters. For me, I don't have time for glory hunters. And the thing is with Anthony Joshua is that his fan base is vast, absolutely vast. He's got such a massive, massive fan base coming from Nigeria. Anthony Joshua, who was born in Watford in England, 
represented Great Britain at the World Championships, represented Great Britain at the Olympics, but yet Nigerians have mad, mad love for him. They don't abandon him. So why did you abandon him? Suddenly, Joshua takes a loss. Oh, well, he's exposed. Oh, well, I've always said that. Some Brits celebrating the fact that Anthony Joshua lost the first fight. You should support Anthony Joshua, win, lose, or draw. You should be supporting Dillian White, win, lose, or draw. Same with Tyson Fury. Same with every other Brit. You don't have to like them as people. You don't have to. Some of you guys probably won't like me as a person, okay? But likewise, hopefully you're here and you're having a boxing discussion. But if you're just going to throw hate, then obviously I need to block you. Many people are subscribed to me because I'm British. Again, you support in Brits. So big up to you guys and thank you very much. Many people, if you're American, they support because they agree with boxing, because they love boxing. That's why they're subscribed. Just support Anthony Joshua. He's going to be fighting at Andy Ruiz Jr. this weekend in Saudi Arabia. Again, you may not be happy about the politics over in Saudi Arabia, but that's not Joshua's fault. He can't change all that. He's not a politician. He's a guy who punches somebody in the head. That's what he does. He's not a politician. He can't change that. Ultimately, yes, he's getting paid a whole crap load of money. So what? Wouldn't you, if he was in his situation? And plenty of people say, but he's already got millions. Why would he care? Why should he do that? He should give back to the British fans. What, what British fans who probably ain't going to turn up to his event anyway. Those who are complaining about it probably weren't going to turn up anyway. I mean, had he a 4 a.m. Uh, anywhere in the UK, you probably wouldn't have turned up, even if it's in, in your town, because you are bitter towards An Anthony Joshua, because you're such a Tyson Fury fan. Whereas before, when Tyson Fury was off for, for a, a hell of a long time, going through what it is that he's going through, I was there supporting Tyson Fury. And you guys were Team Joshua. And then suddenly, Tyson Fury comes back, Oh, Anthony Joshua, he's nothing but a bodybuilder, he's a big stiff idiot, he's a dosser, he's a dosser, he's a dosser, all this kind of thing. He just jumps ships to suit. If you're British, support your British fighter. We are probably the only nation in the world that will throw our own under the bus. It's disgusting, isn't it? Support Joshua. Support Dillian White, support Tyson Fury, support Charlie Edwards, support Dave Allen, support all these guys. You don't have to like them as people, as I said, but support them. You're British. You should want them to win. And if you don't, then I don't know what to say to you. Nothing short of a heretic, to be honest with you. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.